Hi guys, Steve Rowe here. It's been a while since I've made a video, but I'd, I'd like to share with you one of, uh, one of my latest tool purchases. And this is not something you would normally use in the wood shop itself. However, if you have installed things like crown molding or measured for cabinets, you've typically found, if you're anything like me, when you're doing it by yourself, you're, well, you're taking a long measurement, and your tape measure does something like this. Uh, you know, once, once you get beyond about six feet, I don't care what tape measure you use, it's, it's pretty, pretty much flimsy. So I went to a grand opening of, of a woodworking store a couple of, um, I guess about three or four weeks ago, and I purchased after uh, a Bosch GLM 50C laser measurement device. And uh, I, I had a few moments to discuss with the Bosch rep uh, about this. He demonstrated it and this thing has some just incredible features for a good price that I'd like to share with you. And it's, uh, I've used laser measurement devices in my day job before and, and I found them, they did a good job measuring but they were hard to see. Uh, the numbers, you get those black letters that are kind of uh, almost a gray against a light green background and even with a backlight it's hard to read. Uh, so I'll like to share with you the Bosch GLM 50C and why I purchased this as opposed to uh, some, uh, some of the other models. Okay so what comes in the package it, it has, a, has a box of course it's, it has a two-year warranty and a 30-day uh, full money-back return. If you're not completely satisfied, you can return it within 30 days, get all your money back, or get a replacement. And this device will measure up to 165 feet or 50 meters. It also came with, it looks like, about four targets, which I haven't used yet, and I really don't, I doubt if I ever will, unless I need to get a specific spot. A reference manual, a quick reference card, and some instructions that are I'm not sure what these are. These, these are for the application uh, f uh, that you can download for a smart device such as a phone or a tablet. And I don't have a tablet but I do have a, a, a smartphone that I'll demonstrate here. It comes with a uh, with a, a little pouch that will clip on your belt with with uh, velcro, belt loop with velcro. Uh, the, the device also fits rather snugly in there and I'm, I'm not sure if I had any criticism I'd say this is probably just a little bit too tight but hey I'm willing to live with it it also comes with a wrist strap so you don't drop it off your ladder now one of the things that I really liked about this was I mentioned earlier about not being able to see this is color screen it is backlit and I can read the numbers uh, whether regardless of the lighting uh, conditions and it has well, a bunch of uh, features typical of most other laser measurement devices but what I really liked about this was the ability to see the numbers okay let's see if I can get a good angle around on this this device uh, one of the things you'll notice is that it it has a a orientation sensing device in it which is also good for a level and up in this corner and I let me see if I can get it closer here if I hold it right up in this area right here you'll see that it's got an angle measurement and that it moves and it tells you when you're horizontal which is obviously very important for for measurement when I flip it around there the level moves but it still orients the, the level so you know you're getting an accurate measurement but it if you're up on a ladder and you're holding it like this and you're taking a measurement it orients the the display such that it measures what you are what you're seeing and this is on instantaneous measurement mode so the laser is continuously on and giving me minimum and maximum measurements and when I go up there it's hit my dust collection piping now and then when I rotate it this way it, it, it rotates against the, the other wall of my shop so that's, that's a really nice feature uh, the, one of the other 
it has a number of other functions. It's probably similar to most other laser measurement devices. But because of this, it also has a, a level built into it. And this is on, let me see if I can figure it out here. This will, it has a, a, a bubble level. If it will focus. Sorry about that. But it has a bubble level. And it'll tell you when it's off or when it's off center. So my, my workbench is actually surprisingly level. And I apologize for the glare from the light. So. Okay, so now when I've changed this from the horizontal with the, with the bubble indicator, when I change to that, it gives me an angle indicator. And it'll tell me if I want to measure the angle of say uh, a roof rafter or anything that'll that'll measure the pitch for me and again if I flip it over this way it will measure measure the angle again which uh, 0.1 degrees on this workbench on this concrete floor incredible okay I've got my smartphone the GLM measurement and documentation application open. That's again, that's a free download from the from the App Store. Um, and let's say I want to add. I can create a new project. I can cancel it. I can fill in the project name, and your your typewriter will fill out. But uh, let's say I just want to choose my current project which right now has no sketches in it and a sketch is from a photograph so I'm going to click on and I'm going to add a sketch and it'll come up with an arbitrary number I don't know whether you can change that or not I'm not I haven't tried that but if I click save it gives me a choice to either select it from a library which could be a an existing photo on my phone or I can take a photo with a camera so I'm going to go ahead and do that and it opened up my, my camera application on my, uh, on my phone. So if I can get it here to where, where you can see what's going on. And I'll just take a picture. And it gives me a choice to take another, take it again, or uh, accept it. So I'm going to click on the little checkbox there and accept it. And now it's loading that picture into the application. So I click on that. And let's say I want to take a measurement and I want to measure the length of my workbench. So I'll take my finger, I'll click on the measurement icon, I'm going to measure length as opposed to area or angles, but I'm going to measure the length and I'm just going to drag my finger about where the length of my workbench is. And if I, if I didn't, if I messed it up, didn't quite start at the right spot, I could extend it out. And one thing that's really handy here is if you note up in the upper left hand corner it's kind of giving me a zoom in on where my where my where my arrow is pointing so it's drawn a dimension line on my photograph and I'm gonna go over to the workbench and set this up to actually take the measurement okay I'm holding the phone up a little bit just to avoid the glare they don't have to be this close together but to take the measurement what I do is I come down here and I'll click on the little uh, GLM icon. Got to make sure your Bluetooth turned on. What I'm going to do is take the measurement using the GLM, and the and the phone and the and the GLM 50C are talking to each other. So the first step, and I'll, let me turn this thing around so you can see what it what it says. I don't know what how well this is going to focus. The lights lights glaring, but what this uh, application say tap the button to switch on the laser beam and I'm going to do that and what you'll notice there a change occurred on my Bosch and my laser beam is now on but it's not on my target which is a a block of wood clamped in the at the tail vice uh, in the tail vice and my my target is on the the block of wood I'll do a reposition there maybe you'll get uh, to see it a little bit better so now my laser beams on and my phones now saying tap the button to initiate the measurement now I could press the button 
on the on the laser measurement device and it would just take that measurement and transmit it to the phone but I'm gonna go ahead and do it from my phone I'm gonna click on that and you'll notice that it took the measurement and this was set up to measure from the base of the unit to the block of wood which is six foot three and seventeen thirty seconds inch you could convert that there's a there's a function setting to where you can change the units of measurement to inches or perhaps even um, uh, the metric if that's what you prefer and what you'll see is that my phone is set up to where oh, I don't know what it's there but it's saying it's actually the the units measurements on the phone are 17 75 inches and 17 30 seconds so I'm going to accept that and I'm just going to back out of it and what you'll see on my phone if it's clear and will focus maybe not okay that's a little bit better you will see that it's taken that measurement and put it in a 75 and 75 and 17 30 seconds of an inch and it put it on that dimension line I can add more dimension lines by clicking the the measurement tool and then going going through uh, and, and measuring it um, um, taking another measurement say I want to do the height or I want to do the the depth it will add all those dimensions on the same picture so anyway uh, I'm, I've been real pleased with this I really like the fact that that I can see the numbers in even the poorest of lighting conditions and I, I so far I've been quite impressed with this I paid uh, $150 for this unit and I, I got a I think a 10% discount for the um, for the grand opening special but for $150 this was worth the full price in my opinion uh, and if you've got an application where you do field work uh, this this is an outstanding tool and I've, I've been quite pleased with it so far so thanks for watching and post any questions uh, if you if you got any and thank you for your time.